Today in Harvard Square, we're visiting a site associated with Richard T. Greener. Richard T. Greener was the first African-American man to attend and graduate from Harvard College. Born in Philadelphia in 1844, Greener moved to the Boston area as a child. Working as a porter at the Pavilion Hotel on Tremont Street, he was introduced to Boston society, eventually going to work for several wealthy families who agreed to assist him in his dreams of attaining a higher education. When the Civil War broke out, he became convinced that there would be opportunities for men of color when the Union prevailed. He prepared for entrance into Harvard, attending Andover Academy and then Oberlin College, at the time a preparatory school. He finally transferred to Harvard in 1865. His graduation in 1870 came at the expense of his being a social pariah at Harvard, if also a pioneer. Following his education, he spent three years teaching high school, but in 1873, Greener would become the first African-American professor at the University of South Carolina. Greener taught philosophy, Greek, Latin, constitutional history, math, and ran the school's library. When he left USC, he would rise to become the dean of Howard University's law school in Washington, D.C. He married a woman named Genevieve Ida Fleet, and together they had five children. His career spanned as many disciplines as his professorship had. Serving on the Board of Health, clerking for the Post Office and Treasury, he also argued many legal cases of note in his time. In 1879, he debated Frederick Douglass, who argued that the emancipated and formerly enslaved should remain in the South, where they lived and had been freed. Greener thought they should go west, to Kansas and other territories. His impressive career led to an appointment under President William McKinley to a diplomatic post in Bombay, India. But an outbreak of bubonic plague there in 1898 prevented him from assuming that position. Instead, he was sent to Vladivostok, Russia, becoming the first black U.S. diplomat to a white country. There, he monitored the condition of Russia's Jewish population, the Russo-Japanese War, and the Boxer Rebellion in northern China, where he helped to provide aid to a starving and war-torn population. During this time, his family, back home in New York, appear to have changed their names to distance themselves from him, or specifically his race. With lighter complexions, they were able to blend into New York society as white, and his daughter, Bella, eventually became the personal librarian for banking tycoon J.P. Morgan. For his part in Russia, he found himself reacquainted with a Japanese diplomat named Misha Kawashima and soon had three children with her. With the rumors that he had taken up a Japanese mistress, he was fired from his post and began a long journey homeward. Once home, he settled in Chicago. He died in 1922, but his law degree and papers were lost until 2012 when a trunk of his last belongings and documents was found, coincidentally, just before demolition of the house they were in and many gaps in his history were finally filled. He would write of his generation of black men, in every advance since emancipation, it has with true Caucasian gall been assumed that everything must be done for the black man and under no circumstances must he be allowed to do it for himself. In religion, in politics, in civil and social life, he must be developed in a pen, staked off from the rest of mankind, and nursed, coddled, fed, and trained by aid of the longest spoons, forks, and rakes obtainable. Indeed, nothing has so weighed upon the average American Christian heart as the precarious health of this infant, whom no one had the heart exactly to kill, were it possible, but whose noiseless and peaceful departure to a better world would have been hailed with smothering sighs of intense relief. As Frederick Douglass aged out of his role as the voice of black America, and before W.E.B. Du Bois or Booker T. Washington rose to prominence, Greener filled the gap of African American leadership through example. 